What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the recently released 2022-23 EPL Prism White Sparkle Packs from Panini. These came out a couple of weeks ago for 60 bucks a pop and are going for about 100 to 120 bucks resale at the moment. And we're here to show you guys exactly what to expect from these. So let's get right into it guys. If you enjoyed this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing uh, as it really helps us grow and really helps us put more content out there for you guys. But uh, yeah, what are we gonna expect from these before I reveal the first card? Um, obviously, three cards per pack, and they're all gonna be super short prints because you know that's what white sparkle prisms are usually all about. So let's take a look at pack number one. Hopefully our luck changes from the brutal FIFA box. Uh, wow, these look really clean actually. And I feel like I'm gonna be talking about that FIFA select box for like the entire year because of how bad it was, but it is what it is. All right, so first one is Jean-Philippe Mateta. Second one is going to be Danny Ward, goalkeeper for a relegated team, unfortunately. Bye bye, Lester, but Diego Llorente. All right, so first pack, pretty brutal. What do you guys think? There's no way you say this is not a brutal first pack. So hopefully, this doesn't kind of take the rhythm of last year's White Sparkles. Um, they're on the channel, so if you search for it, you'll see it. Those are pretty brutal as well. So fingers crossed on these. But yeah, if you didn't know, these used to be numbered to 15, or these were like out of 15 back in 29, or sorry, 2019, 2020 set. And there's Anthony, who Prison FC, new Prison FC member, according to uh, the news, but Tiago Silva, and the last one, come on, is Yves Basuma, all right. But uh, yeah, I really wish they'd go back to the 2019, 2020 set kind of numbering thing where, you know, every single one of these cards. So it's a 300 card base set. And if they're all numbered out of 15, that means they all get the equal uh, print run treatment. But when they don't include the numbers on these, that means certain players can get printed more than others. And then they will just never know. So, uh, all right, before this last pack, and hopefully there's something good in this, like at least I don't know, Chase Rookie or Holland. I mean, that's like best case scenario, so I don't know. Our chances of pulling something is like really, really low. It's like, what, three out of 300 cards, so that's like per pack, it's like 1% if you're trying to look for a certain player. Uh, but if you do want to join a EPL Prism group break, we are running a case of T-Mall, Red Stars, and Pink Star Prism uh, boxes. There's one SSP Red Star Auto per box, and there's 20 boxes. So um, yeah, I'll put up, actually, I have a card right here. I don't have to put it up on the screen. So this is a, let me take it out of the top loader actually, so you guys can see it better. Actually, I don't even know if you can see it on the screen. There it is. So there's like this stars pattern that is used in not a lot of uh, sets actually. And for those of you who are familiar, they use them a lot in uh, the older Pokemon sets. But yeah, so we are running a group pick of that. And let's see what this last pack, oh my goodness, it's a goalkeeper. This is not a good sign. All right, guys, Kai Havertz, and the last one is red. Is it? It's a rookie. Ooh, should we sweat this one? No, it's a goalkeeper. <laughs> it's Gavin Bazunu. All right, I know some people are looking for this guy, but wow, we, you know, we could have, but hey, guys, that just means that all the other packs that are out there, whoever decides to pick one up, uh, you're probably going to get something better than us. Well, you have a 1% chance in each pack of getting someone you're looking for. So let's do a quick recap of what we got. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is probably the best one. I don't know. This one, Tiago Silva, and then Kai Havertz maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, these are some pretty high risk packs. I mean, they're also very highly sought after, you know, the parallels. Like this pattern is, is, I don't know, people just go crazy for it. So uh, they're super short print, you know, as you can imagine, but resale for these uh, has doubled since they dropped on Panini's website. And who knows if it's going to go down or, or go up from here, but we'll just, you know, time will tell. Uh, but yeah, besides the low chance of you pulling a player better than all these players combined that we got, um, that's basically it. Um, pretty short and sweet. So let's just keep it that way. But hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, stick around for group breaks, giveaways, and more reviews. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.